try to okay for this question sled is sliding down a snowy hill at constant velocity velocity is my constant that means let's say velocity is represented by letter b that is my constant if my velocity is constant then my acceleration that is the rate of change of velocity that should go to zero we know that and the hill makes an angle of 12 degree with respect to the horizontal that means let's say that angle by which that hill makes to the horizontal let's say that is an angle of theta that is a 12 degree yeah what is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the hill and the plane that means this is the horizontal surface this is your hill that makes an angle of theta and let's say this is a slate this is your slate that's what information i can make it from here right now now other than that anything given to me no. mm, let me think let me think very carefully now okay now here comes a very fun part very fun part your weight is acting here downwards your normal force is acting like this yeah if i have to do a rectangular components of your w it's making an angle of theta to the parallel direction of normal force and this value is equal to w of cosine theta another value that is perpendicular to the w cosine theta is what we call w cosine theta is what we call w sine theta we can see the up to here now 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 some sort of information we have to make here now here comes very fun part what is the fun part is we our block is what here in a question is saying coefficient of kinetic friction that means our block is moving our block is moving now when our block is moving what could i say since it is moving at a constant velocity since it's moving okay at first let me say this is a frictional force it's moving this yeah. is the f of uh, let me write it as f of s that is a frictional force that is in the opposite direction of the motion of your sled when your sled is sliding at a constant velocity that means i can say that your f of sin theta is equal to what f of s i have to say that and this f of s is what your uh, we can say this is a frictional force during the motion and we know that we know that coefficient of friction is what coefficient of frictional force is frictional force divided by normal force we know that but now when this is in motion let me say this is a kinetic coefficient of kinetic friction that is equal to coefficient of force this is what frictional force during the motion we can say it as a f of k now let me write okay i have okay sorry i have write here as f of s let me write this as f of so let me write this uh, let me do this simple as f of k so that it will be very easy this is f of k here also f of k that is the frictional force during the uh, kinetic motion in the mo during the motion we can say it now what does f of k means f of k means mu of k times normal force but what is normal force means my normal force if you go and see my picture from there i can say something i can say that mm -hmm. what does a normal force means my normal force is balanced by my normal force is balanced by what w cosine theta i yeah. can say that now here is two thing i got it now let me try to combine these two equations what i got i got as frictional force during the motion is equal to coefficient of kinetic friction times normal force that is coefficient of coefficient of coefficient of coefficient of what kinetic friction times normal force normal force is equal to what w of cosine theta from here i can say that this is equal to cosine theta i got it here now one more thing i got it here that is what 
frictional force during the motion is equal to W sine theta. That means I can write here as what? W sine theta also. Now, now what I got here is W sine theta on the left side is equal to mu k W cosine theta. Now, if I divide both sides by W, mm -hmm. I will get what? I will cancel this W. Now, what can I say even that is that here I got sine theta, here I get mu k, here I get cosine theta. Now, let me divide both sides by cosine of theta. I will get on the left side, I will get on the right side, this cosine of theta gets cancelled. But on the left side, I got sine theta divided by cosine theta from the trigonometry. This is the value of tan theta is equal to mu k. The question is asking us to find the coefficient of kinetic friction. And this your mu k is your coefficient of kinetic friction. And now what I got to know is that your coefficient of kinetic friction is literally equal to, your coefficient of kinetic friction is literally equal to the tan of theta, where theta is the angle made by the heel to the ground. Heel to the ground, heel to the horizontal. That is equal to what? Tan of 12 degree. That's all. Now let me go and plug the number. That is the tan of 12. Uh, done. Tan of 12, I got 0. Point. That is the coefficient of kinetic friction. I got 0. 0.21. That's all my question is asking. And we can say that the coefficient of kinetic friction built in the heel and the slate is 0 0.21. That's the answer.